This is Kolob Canyon. It's the northeast side of Zion National Park, and it's a lot more peaceful than Zion. It costs $35 per car to get in, and that entry fee also gets you into Zion. So if you're going to do both parks, the same ticket gets you into both of them. And it is a five-mile scenic drive that is very scenic and puts you right in the middle of the big red rocks. There are hiking trails along the way, and then at the top, you get this beautiful view as a payoff. And you can see a lot of beautiful things from your car, which is good if you're disabled or if you're just not in the best of shape or just don't feel like walking around. There's a big parking lot for you to park in with all the amenities you would expect from a national park. There's a bathroom, of course. There's some signs that tell you what's going on there. And then if you are in the mood for a picnic, there's even picnic tables along the way, both at the top and on your way up. No pets are allowed on the trails. I think you are allowed to bring a guide dog if you're disabled. And then and there's the mountain lion rules. So beware of mountain lions. And this is what the terrain looks like. It's pretty easy to hike. This is the trail at the top of the mountain going to this beautiful overlook, which I'm just going to shut up and let you enjoy the wonders. So that's what it looks like on the map. This is your scenic five mile drive. And then up here you can hike up and see the mountains in all their splendor. And if you wanna hike down low and see some other stuff, down here is the Taylor Creek Trail. This one's relatively short and there's a double, uh, double arch uh, uh, right here that you can see. And then there's a cabin right here. When I went, they had closed off the trail from here because rocks were falling down and hitting people. So I did not get to see the arch on that one. And then over here, if you want to see one of the biggest arches in Utah, this Kolob arch is gigantic. But the problem is that's eight or nine miles. And so you got to be able to pretty much almost do a marathon downhill and uphill. You got to be in shape if you want to see this arch, otherwise you'll die out there. And then you could actually hike, 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 hike all the way down to Zion if you got the legs for it. It's a long way but it is possible. Being old and a little out of shape, I opted to do the Taylor Creek hike, which is pretty easy. Uh, the warnings do say that there's poisonous algae out there, so you wanna definitely read before you go and see what the rules are. No drones, no bikes, no dogs, no ATVs, no fire. And this is what the deadly poisonous algae looks like. There were a lot of creek crossings where you had to walk through the water, so you wanna be careful not to fall in it and get it up your nose. And then the hike itself is Reasonably flat, relatively easy, and beautiful. You can even uh, find a vacant home there. You're not allowed to go in it or climb on it, but it's a cabin from long, long ago when somebody actually did live here. And then you just get out there, enjoy the peace, enjoy the beauty, and enjoy the silence. It's a lot quieter than Zion. Zion gets really, really super busy, but this side barely even saw any people, and you could just sit there and relax in silence. Unfortunately, that's where the trail ended. I didn't get to see any arches but it did have a great time and highly recommend Kolob Canyons if you're out in Zion.